Hi everyone, this is Bay Divine. <clears throat> Welcome. I hope you're doing amazing. Okay, we are going to get uh, some messages from the Astro Starco's deck, a little bit different, and see what we need to know for this weekend and some extra advice for you. So don't forget, you can always get your own personalized reading. I do uh, 20 minute readings, one hour readings, um, and also sessions over the phone, healing sessions, mentoring sessions, uh, soul star healing, Reiki sessions, whatever you like, whatever you need. We soon figure out exactly what you need. And uh, you just need to contact me at my website, okay? Be careful of other people direct messaging you. It's not cool. All right, let's go. So this is the central theme here. Um, and these are things that are surrounding or supporting this central theme, okay? And then we'll get some more cards if we've got time. So let's start with the central theme here. We have a dignified strength. What this is showing you is a pattern of events in your life that you've always done and you know you've had to survive certain situations or you had to do something um, that was outside of the ordinary or you left a situation or you've had some kind of regret about this and it's looking at our past okay in an effort to see the patterns that we often do as reactions okay and this is showing you to actually acknowledge just how powerful and just how strong you have actually been there are not many people that could deal with certain situations that you've had to deal with losses that you've had betrayals that you've had you know people letting you down people um, acting like they're a certain way or in alliance with you and then all of a sudden you find out the opposite is true. So this dignified strength is showing you to look at those different patterns of reactions and give yourself some kind of forgiveness here or a break here because otherwise what can happen is is that you are doomed to repeat some of the things that you really just don't want to repeat because your reaction is the same, okay? Sometimes we are triggered emotionally because we haven't dealt with something that's happened to us before, you know, or on a, sub, on a subconscious level, there's still a lot of pain in our lives. You know, there's still a lot of hurt that we've said, oh, it's okay, I'm fine and brushed over those things. There's one thing about being tough and being strong, and there's another about being stubborn and not allowing yourself to really feel anything. I did that for many, many years. I would say those exact words that, you know, I'm fine, everything's cool, um, you know, I'm over it, and inside, you know, terribly hurt. So, the energy here of dignified strength is really where you're at right now is to appreciate all that you've done, every place that you've been without judgment on it or being hard on yourself anymore. Really looking at things and understanding that you can send healing into your past from yourself to yourself and it makes a big difference in your present so let's see what's um, flanking this, the Amam Ko Koeli, which is the root energy here. And this is the basis, you see? This is strong as well. Roots are terribly strong. They, you know, deep down into the earth, they are anchoring themselves. So when this is coming up here, this is also talking about your actual roots, where you came from where you want to be and what you're doing to achieve it okay are you going to be labeled for the rest of your life you know if i'd listened to my family's labels of me i would never be doing what i'm doing today right i would be doing whatever they wanted me to do and i would 
I would be a miserable pers- person because I would never be enough, right? I had to give that to myself. So the Oman Koeli is talking about what makes you who you are, right? And why? Is it tainted because of other people's thoughts and opinions of you? Is it tainted because you had a bad relationship or several of them maybe and you've always tried to be better because this person rejected you? Have you always tried to do more because people aren't buying or whatever? You've got to look at the reasons or the reactions to situations in your life that make you want to prove yourself all of the time when there actually is no need to do that. And it's just a way of looking at things in a different way with acceptance of yourself. When you haven't had healing for some of the things that have happened to you in the past, you have a tendency to want to please, okay? Well, what you're being asked to do by the universe is to give to yourself first. This is very hard for people who are people pleasers, okay? If any of you need help with healing on these deeper traumatic levels, please talk to me or one of my students because we are trained in PTSD. We are trained in helping you to understand things you didn't even realize were a PTSD or a traumatic response, okay? All right, and flanking the other side is Pallas Athena of thinking. So the the myth goes that Pallas was actually born out of her father's head. Therefore, it's, it's, she's born through thought, okay? And she has strength and she has an armor. She has the owl as her animal guide talking to her, right? So she has a connection with all things and she's different to everybody else. Isn't that how you feel? You feel different than everybody else. No one totally gets you. No one ever would understand you. Believe me, I know right? So the energy here is when you come into this new realization of who you are, not the tainted version of who you are, but who you really are and who you were born to be, once you come into that realization, there really is nothing that's going to ever take that away from you again, unless you let it, unless your mind goes back and wanders over things. And, you know, that can happen to us at times, where, you know, we reflect, we ponder, we wish, we reminisce. And there's nothing wrong with having positive memories. But if your mind is going back to something that you cannot change or, uh, you know, a decision that you made that you felt was wrong or guilt, those things are only continually harming you and you are punishing yourself for something that you feel that you could have done differently when really you don't understand that the sequences of events in our life happen not just for us, but they happen for those people around us to also learn. Situations that might have been different might not have helped another person to actually gain momentum in their life, right? So, you know, people who don't live with their children They feel bad about it. They feel guilty about it, for example, without realizing that this child actually has a soul direction and that soul direction is being fulfilled because they are where they are. As much as you might want them with you, there's something that connects them to where they need to be now. And we have to remember that our soul journey affects more than just us. We have contracts with many people in our life, especially family who are agitating as hell or, you know, anyone who's agitated you in any way, okay? They have been given a special purpose. You have made an agreement for this and it has been there for the betterment of both of you. So the way that you think, the way that you see yourself, how you've been, you know, focusing on your life, makes a huge difference to what begins to come in. And you deserve to have this next chapter of your life abundant, free and happy. Blessings to you all.